Well, welcome to the Amish Farmer and House. My name is Eric, and I'll be taking you, giving you a brief tour of the what, who the Amish are, their lifestyle, their clothing, why they do the things they do. Right now, you're at the Amish Farm and House in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Uh, we are the first Amish home open to the public. We opened in 1955. Eric Connor is the marketing director of the Amish House and Farm. He says the Amish people choose to live a simple life based on their religious beliefs. They came from Europe, specifically Germany and Switzerland. In 1693, they were a persecuted religious group. Uh, because of their persecution, uh, they were forced to meet in homes, meet in basements, meet in caves for their church services. So when they came to America, they wanted to keep using their homes as their church buildings. The Amish are very devout and take seriously the biblical commands to separate themselves from things of the modern world, including electricity. Power comes from propane, kerosene, wood, coal, or natural gas. Their simple life is even reflected in their plain clothing. Connor explains the dress inside this Amish girl's room. This is not only a church dress, it's also her wedding dress. Um, at the wedding is the last time that she wears the white. After the ceremony is over, she comes up to her room, takes off this cape and this apron, saves them for the rest of her life, because the next time she's wearing them, she's wearing these two pieces in the coffin. Connor says, in the Amish community, hats tell men apart from boys. And here's a teenager's hat. You know he's a teenager by the, the flatness of his hat and also the ridge around the top. This means that he's in this, what they call the running around period, meaning they can date, they can uh, choose whether to become Amish or not. Becoming Amish is voluntary. It's not mandatory. As the world around the peaceful farmland changes, so have some of the traditions of the Amish. Lester Hoover, a tour guide at the farm, says transportation is no longer limited to horse-drawn buggies. There's a division among the Amish over the automobile. One group got automobiles, another group kept the horse and buggy. We just simply name them old order, drive the horse and buggy, and the new order drive automobile. And they have electric, and they have meeting houses, and they don't have green shades. But many traditions remain. Amish children attend one-room schoolhouses through the eighth grade, and farming is the mainstay of Amish life. Hoover says there are normally two horses on a farm for buggies. Several mules are kept for farming. Milking is one of the most important sources of income on the farm. Many Amish leaders believe their separation from the outside world strengthens their community, and that community is thriving. Despite what many on the outside would describe as a backwards lifestyle, the Amish population in Lancaster County has almost tripled over the past half century.